Ooh, I think we're on. Hello. Welcome to the Bookshop Band Lockdown Book Show, um, where we are going to talk about our five picks this week for books that might be fun or interesting to read uh, during lockdown. Um, we are joined today uh, in this high production, not really, by uh, Mr. B's Emporium in Bar, where we uh, write most of these songs. Um, Daunt Books in London, uh, The Q Bookshop, Sheen Bookshop. Um, in Wigtown, we're joined by The Bookshop, The Wigtown Book Festival and The Open Book. Um, and I know the Old Bank Bookshop uh, are watching as well tonight. Um, who else have we got? We have got Books in My Bag. Books in My Bag. Booksellers Association. Yeah. The Blue House Bookshop. Yeah. Books on the Hill. Not entirely sure where they are, but if there Hello. are any other hi, and if <laughs> there are any other you. bookshops that would like to join for next week, uh, just get in touch. And across the water in America, we have Word Bookshop in Brooklyn, where we played last last year. And Jersey City. And in Jersey, yes, yeah, Jersey City, right. and um, Tattered Cover in Denver. Thank you, and Bookmark in Canada. Yeah, and we are delighted to be here in our own house. Uh, playing for you so i guess we should just kick off uh our first recommendation of the day um the week and um i guess this might have been expected um but it's uh rachel joyce's the unlikely pilgrimage of harold fry i don't know if you can see that there um and it's a fantastic story it came out a few years ago about a man who receives a letter from an old work colleague of his unfortunately saying that she is in the process of passing away and she's writing to say goodbye. Um, and Harold writes a letter back, and sorry to hear you're dying, lots of love, Harold. And he goes to post this letter, um, and he's wearing his pyjamas, and he goes to his, his local post box. But as he reaches in, he realises that this is not enough effort for this old friend of his, and so as a gesture, he walks one post box further, and so begins a story and a journey. Um, and we just thought this was yeah, quite appropriate. Last week we did Etta and Otter and Russell and James again about someone just going off on a journey. And so if you want to imagine what we'll be doing when this is all down, um, I'm sure lots of us might be just going and exploring places more than two miles away. Um, but the song we've written uh, was actually um, inspired by a part later on in the book where Harold um, is a young man and he's dancing in a bar having a wonderful time and it's the night on which he meets his wife Maureen for the first time and uh, he's dancing his coat's flaying everywhere his hair's going all over the place and Maureen looks over and sees this idiot dancing on the dance floor but is quite intrigued and watches him dancing and Harold notices Maureen watching her but he doesn't worry too much about it but at the end of the night one thing leads to another they start talking and uh, so begins another thread in the book but we were thinking, if you knew that was the moment in your life when you met your wife-to-be, there's absolutely no way I would carry on dancing like an idiot on the dance floor. I would stop, sort out my hair, try and think of something very cool to say. Um, that would be a disaster, frankly. So this song is inspired by all of that, and it's called How Not to Woo a Woman. Since then, you've done lots of silly dancing. <laughs> Dancing in the bar, your eyes caught mine, and so I came and whispered in your ear. I hadn't thought of what to say or what you thought of me, but it seemed to go pretty well, and we left early. Move on now, seven months, and we were married by the shore. The two of us together, we never wanted more. I'll get a job to feed us and a home to keep us warm. And in a year or so, I think our children will be born. So on with seven years, and our little boy's five. I used to think I'd save him, but at least he's still alive. We'll have our ups and downs, but I know our love will win. So I never leave this journey, not even at the end of Da 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 da
been a lucky man. Our children will have grown and left the house back in our hands. We'll go on by the seaside and we'll drink tea in the car. And I picture us beneath a grave in each other's arms. But now I catch myself as I am dancing in the bar. A little overthinking, and perhaps a stage too far. I'll just enjoy the moment anymore, and I would be too scared to dance like a fool, and you'd never see me. Thank you. Thank you. So that was our first <laughs> book recommendation in song, and it was uh, Rachel Joyce's "The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry." Um, which is a, a fantastic uh, and brilliant book. Um, right, Beth, what have we got for our second book recommendation of the week? Our second book recommendation for this week is um, is a book that we... I, I hadn't really... I don't really remember reading the full story when I was a child. I remember seeing abridged versions and reading kind of small, um, perhaps more child-friendly versions, although it's very child-friendly, of course. It's Alice in Wonderland, and that's the edition we have. <laughs> Can't get it the right angle. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's uh... a diff different edition. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so when we, when we got a chance to read it, it was really great to read it in its full, in its entirety, um, how it was meant to be and how the characters were all uh, put together um, by Lewis Carroll. And we've chosen this book because we think this, uh, this time could be a, a time to read, to, to go back to the classics, to read some classics. And also it's a great, um, obviously, great way of escaping. It's escapism, surrealism, um, fantasy, and all those things that take you to another place, um, if you want to do that. So we were asked to write this song about Alice in Wonderland um, for a bookshop in Oxford called Blackwell's Bookshop and we didn't have much time to write it <laughs> as usual and I remember um, sitting on the step of somebody's house and they, they weren't in they were meant to be in and I was just waiting there um, and I just started fiddling around with this this song and we ended up finishing it on the the day of the gig as we normally do after a big house party um, at John Ruddock's house and we were all a bit hungover and um, it was the perfect situation to finish an Alice in Wonderland song basically and we, we spread all our instruments around on the floor My and heads were spinning. you'll notice that Ben uh, plays a few different instruments in this song because I couldn't decide what to play and you also might notice that I only play about one note on each instrument so that was the state of my mind <laughs> at the time <laughs> But I'm going to play some more instruments today because we've got Molly's uh, percussion basket. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I might start it off. I might start it off with this. Oh, so this is a song called "Curious and Curiouser." <laughs> Thank you. 
about classics um i was reading winnie the pooh to molly um as she was going to sleep and we just got to the point we never get very far because she always falls asleep um a couple of pages in it's a nice and long kind of rambling story for a two-year-old and she uh she started record kind of saying that the rhyme isn't it funny how a bear likes honey buzz 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 i wonder why he does isn't it funny how a bear likes honey? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Away, away it does. And again, and again, and again. And then she fell asleep. So it was lovely. So it's nice introducing Molly to some of the classics as well. Yeah. We've um, got some exciting news in that we've just been given a grant by um, Spotlit to sort of promote literary tourism uh, to try and produce uh, an album inspired by children's literature. So... Aside from having Molly and having to read lots of children's books, we'll have an excuse. Yeah, so, we've always wanted to do more children's yeah. books, and I, I think yeah. um, we've had we've been very lucky. Write, writing a lot of our our books, um, a lot of our songs have come out of Mr. B's Emporium of Reading Delights, and they've got a great collection of adult fiction. And we've done a, a few children's things, but not not so many. So it's been really yeah. great to get that to do some more. Yeah. Um, it's awesome watching everyone come oh, in. Oh, yeah, who's got, here? Who's here? Got people from Denver and Colorado, Penzance, um, uh, all sorts. I, we've seen them come oh, in. Oh, Joyce. Hello, Joyce. We Hi, miss Joyce. you, too. We miss you, too. Jim Brown, Dave, David Francis in Aberdeen. Um, oh, it's really, uh, keep the comments coming in. It's really nice. And, and do send in your book recommendations as well uh, for lockdown reading. Um, and if you want to do a hashtag... Uh, in the US, it's a save indie bookstores, and that's sort of uh, just sending your love to indie bookstores out there. And in the UK, hashtag choose bookshops. Um, and if you'll see in the description, there's lots of um, there's some online uh, independent bookshop shops that are still open. Um, and obviously, just find your local independent and just start, give them a ring um, or email them and ask them if they still deliver at the moment um, because they will definitely need your support and love. Um, and we have a tip jar. Um, in the, I don't know which way it is, that way or that way. I can't even work out my hands. Um, and again, like last week, we're going to give 20% to Help Musicians and 20% to the Book Trade Charity. Um, and we were really, uh, really overwhelmed to get so many donations uh, last week. Um, 
But now on to our third book recommendation for this lockdown reading. And um, you might have seen stories in the press, especially in, as in Wales, but all over the world in South Africa, of and any everywhere of just animals coming back out into the city and sort of taking over urban areas, coming into urban areas where they haven't been before. Um, uh, I think there are some goats in Wales and lions in South Africa, and I'm sure it's happening. You can hear hear the birds around you. Um, I'm sure they're finding spaces that they haven't found before. Um, but we thought we would uh, sing you a song inspired by Glow by Ned Bowman, which has got this rather marvellous fox on. Um, and it's, it kind of, again, has these foxes that encroach into the city um, doing rather strange and unusual things. Um, and you're never quite sure what they're up to, but they seem to be like on the top of a double-decker night bus. And everyone just thinks this is perfectly normal or in someone's bedroom or in a kitchen. And you're not really told as you read the book what these foxes are doing, or why they're kind of accepted. Um, but so we wrote a song um, kind of imagining that perhaps these foxes are going to work. And in our heads, what they did was that when all the people of the city put their rubbish out for collection, the foxes would come and provide a very wonderful service for you, which is to tear open the rubbish and scatter the contents all over the road. Um, and they do this for free. They do this purely to make you happy. And by the time the morning comes, they'll be gone and you won't even know it was these wonderful foxes that have provided this service for you. Uh, so this is our song inspired by this really brilliant, funny book called Glow by Ned Bowman. places. The first place we ever played this song was at the Edinburgh Book Festival at the, in the Spiegel tent for the Unbound nights they had there. And that was really great. We, we were with Ned Bowman um, and had to play it in front of him. But then the next time I remember playing it after that was in the Winding Stair in, oh, yeah. in Dublin, yeah. which is a, a wonderful bookshop. Um, and it's got there's lots of stories about it. And, um, it was really lovely to do a little thing there. And then the most recent bookshop we've done it in, I suppose. Yeah, probably is. Oh, yeah. We played in lots and lots of bookshops, but the most recent one was in New Orleans 
And what was the bookshop called? Was it like nothing? Harry's Bookshop yeah, or Be- great, Beckham's Bookshop? That's it. Yeah. And it was just a, a, a lovely second-hand bookshop run by these two old gentlemen in the middle of the kind of... So it wasn't on Bourbon Street, but it was just off. Just off, And yeah. it, was, it was just a, a brilliant uh, bookshop, and we, we filmed a video in there with two, two, a couple of friends who were in New Orleans with us. So Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll put that out later on, um, Northern Cowboy. Yeah. People who filmed it. Um, so thank you so much. Who have we got? Lindy Platt. Hi again. Uh, hi, Kerr again. Kath- oh, Catherine Ecclesio. Hi. Yay. Nice to see you in Mauritius. No way. Adam Turner. Um, Martin. Uh, Gwen in Carlisle. Um, does the shirt mean... Yes, it does. Yeah, I've just seen that comment. Yeah. What does it say? <laughs> does the shirt mean the fox's son? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Anne Morse. Hi. Auntie Anne. Yeah. Hello, Auntie Anne. All the family. Um, (laughs) um, so like I said we're we're donating uh, 40% of anything in the tip jar Um, I don't know which way it is Um, and it's going to go to help musicians and book trade charity uh, supporting indie booksellers um, who are uh, in hardship right now as well Um, and should I say that that song as well like sort of it's really like it's you know the NHS is doing an amazing job and it's also all the like it's all the bin collectors it's all the supermarket people it's all the people people who keep the water and the electricity running in your taps like they're, they're the people saving this place from anarchy right now it's just it's amazing and we just get to have a really nice time at home at the moment so that's really good um right so so this this next song we we uh, we don't play it very often. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always a bit scared to play it. Ben always wants to do it, and I always I'm always a bit scared. But um, this came about from a Mr. B's bookshop gig, and it was a time when Ben and also Poppy Poppy Pitt, who was in the band at the time as well, they weren't free to come and do the gig. So I was doing it by myself, and then I was told it was about a dictionary, <laughs> and I. <laughs> Oh, I'm write a song about a dictionary, my, you know, English language. <laughs> Isn't that great? Um, but it turned out to be a really fun kind of dictionary um, called The Horologicon by Mark Forsyth. And it's a day's jaunt through the lost words of the English language. And it's a fantastic uh, journey through the day of somebody who, you know, an ordinary person who gets up um, goes to work goes to an office. Um, it's kind of set in a, a modern day. Well, not that modern day. <laughs> was modern day. And uh, go to an office and do their daily things and then go home and do their routines and go back to go to sleep. Apart from all the words that are used in the book are words from way back <laughs> in the, um, from this very old English language that Mark Forsyth, who's so interested in all this stuff and is brilliant at um, putting it into funny um, kind of prose, um, he's, he's discovered lots of words that we've forgotten. And so when I came to do this song in, at Mr. B's, I, <clears throat> I thought, well, if it's the day in the life of someone who works in an office, I don't work in an office, but I could do it in the day in the life of someone who's in the bookshop band or in a band. Um, and so wrote this song in the day in the life of the bookshop band. But all these words, so that the words that have made it into the song are just explain a couple um to oxterlift which i think is still used in the north of england stick with that one to oxterlift um is to gather things under the armpit or under the elbow so it's like you know doing that and picking up all your stuff and going off the song is called cackling farts these are words that, that were used for eggs apparently back in the day um and uh, what else? Piss oppressed means that point in the morning or the night where you really, really need the toilet, but you can't be bothered to get out of bed and go. And so you're piss oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> Rumpy put is a mirror. Um, what else is there? Uh, 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 let me just have a look. Symmetricious. Symmetricious means you've got curly hair. And a, oh, David Sow is a very drunk woman. So those those are a few things that will um, help you to understand the song. <laughs> <laughs> well, American broken ukulele. Oh yes, this this got broken in. Well, it got mended in Santa Fe. Hey. 
Um, it got broken before we got to Santa Fe, somewhere broken along the Brooklyn. line. Broken in That's Brooklyn. Broken in Brooklyn, that does film. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Cackling Farts. And uh, it goes something like this. Just before dawn, oops, Kiara, my dreamery's gone. Thinking there's so much to do and no time, day peep comes but the sun doesn't shine. Conjuration, I can't face the day, peer suppressed, hope it goes away. Shows me my pimkin it's I'm trying vocation to cover my zits. I can't be bothered to straighten my hair. I'm symmetricious and I don't care. Most of my clothes are second hand. I'm a ragabash, cause I'm in a band, I'm in need of on a butter shack. My cackling farts are overdone. My toast is brizzled and brizzles my home. And it's time to leave it with my jello. And more to ox to lift and go. Shop, the band must charrette and ride till we draw. It's a panic party, but a jolly one, as long as we chardo to help us with songs. Ben is our host and makes pots of tea. We're about to be galoptiously but dinnered, you'll see. His cackling farts are just spot on There's cheesy toast within this hole Now it's time to leave it with our big load And more to ox to lift and go That's my favorite. 
<laughs> if you uh, if you want to hear some of these songs with a bit more um, instrumentation on, mm -hmm. you might like them just as they are. But we've uh, we've over the years we've worked with lots of um, of our friends who are musicians. We've worked with string uh, more more string friends of ours, and we've had some brass. Um, mostly done by one sing singular man. Yeah, um, one man, brass band, Pete yeah, Judge. Yeah, Pete Judge, and we've had um, we've had people chattering on. In fact, Joyce and yeah. Helena, when we recorded Alice in Wonderland, we recorded it at the Open Book just down the road on on our street, and we had a tea party in there, and lots of people joined in. So we've kind of had yeah, pretty much the kitchen sink on mm. our recordings. So if you if you'd like to um, listen to them in that way, you can yeah. you can. Find them. And also that, that song, in fact, is, is on our live album, which is there, which we're going to release in a few weeks' time somehow. Um, but we have set up a pre-order on our band camp, but we recorded Cackling Farts in Tattered Cover in Denver. Um, so um, if you'd like to hear that song in slightly more hi-fi resolution than Facebook Live, uh, <laughs> um, then it's on vinyl in a few weeks' time. Um, there's all the links in the, in the side. And there's links as well. Um, Wigtown Book Festival are doing a live thing every um, Wigtown Wednesdays at 7 o'clock. So tune in. There's links again in the um, description to that. And do check out all the, the bookshops near you and also in the description here who still have, we're still posting out books. Um, there's links to everything there. Um, so I think this comes to our final book for this week. It's um, gone really quickly. That's gone really quickly. Maybe we could do, could do another one. We could maybe some people could put in a request for one more. Yeah, if there's any requests, yeah, <laughs> we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Or suggest a book if you've got any favourite books yeah. that you think would be good for for lockdown. That might make a good song. Or Diary we might of a Somebody it. by Brian Bilston. Uh, that's pretty cool. That'd be a good one. Uh, anyway, yeah. Hi from Brooklyn. Christy Cameron. Hi, Christy. Um, yeah. So send in if if you'd like us to do one more, uh, then uh, let us know what that is, and then if we can play it, we'll. Maybe we'll, if we can't. Just make up a song. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the final one we're going to do this week is one we've never performed live since the original time when we wrote it years and years ago. And it's actually a request from Mr. Bees, from Nick Bottomley, who runs Mr. Bees Bookshop in Bath, um, where we write pretty much all these songs. 13 Chairs requested. Mm -hmm. well, let's, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and um, so what normally happens, we read the book, go in, and uh, play the song back to the author who sat down uh, in this little room um, with about 25 people in. And, and so this next song is the only, it's the one we've only played at that moment, so we've no idea how it's going to go, but Nick requested it for some reason. Um, and it's inspired by um, this book here, Capital Punishment by Robert Wilson. And um, the song, it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant crime fiction um, thriller and I won't tell you too much about it except that what inspired this song was one of the henchmen um, in it um, and he's kind of like he's slightly agoraphobic he doesn't want to go outside sort of looking you know he's like enjoys the quiet life but he's also a bit of a henchman um, I just thought that was quite funny um, anyway um, we're all going to be a bit like that <laughs> no, by the end of this aren't we I think we might be yeah so anyway this is a highly appropriate read um, for some people and uh, Capital Punishment by Robert Wilson. And the song we've got, if we manage to play it, thanks Nick for re requesting this one, uh, is called Thank God I'm Not a Rich Man. Um, and uh, who knows? Who knows how it goes? But um, any You more? know better than I do. <laughs> Maybe. 13 Chairs again. Oh, Nick Bottomley is excited for this. That's putting the pressure on. <laughs> This is love. Ooh, I haven't done that for a while. The Ernest Hemingway song. Oh, so many. Okay, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Here we go. I'm living under the radar. My life is grounded. I've nothing to desire or be manipulated. Thank God I'm not a rich man. And I'll never have money I haven't got connections Or a great body So I'm told It's a dark world out there 
I never want to be kidnapped to be hardest on my friends. They'd have to find a ransom, and then it gets complicated. Thank God I'm not a rich man, I'm a manual laborer. No holidays to Rio, but I'm safe in Superman. So I'm told it's a dark world out there. So let's drop this body into the water now. I wonder if it floats forever. Let's drop this body into the water now. I wonder if it floats forever. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh. Okay, let's we see what our recommendations. We've got, um, we'll do one more, we'll do one more. Um, thank you again for watching. Uh, tip Jar, we're donating 40% uh, of it, uh, split between Help Musicians and um, the Book Trade Charity. Um, and uh, also hashtag out, save indie bookstores and hashtag choose bookshops. Spread your love to uh, indie bookshops at the moment and do give them a ring or email them and ask them to send them any of the books. We'll post a little um, list of all these books um, when we finish. What have we got, Beth? So definitely Thomas has come up. Um, uh, first lines first has come line, up. First lines. I mean, we could do a non-book. 13 chairs. 13 chairs. <laughs> do you know what? We could do a non-book one and then, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's just see what you say. 13 chairs. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what have we had? We had Once Upon a Time, 13 chairs. First time's Thomas. Thomas. Should we do, what do you reckon? I don't know. Should we do first lines? Yeah, okay. So I'll leave you with a quiz for yeah. next week. We're always, yeah, I mean, we're always here next week, so we can do yeah. any requests. Yeah, send them in. Send Roll them, in. them on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, uh, maybe we'll take any book requests for next week so we can swat up on the songs. Um, okay. So thank you again, Mr. B's, Daunt Books, Q Bookshop, Sheen Bookshop, The Bookshop, Wigtown Book Festival, The Open Book, Books in My Bag, Booksellers Association, The Blue House Bookshop, Books on the Hill, Word Bookshop, and Tattered Cover and Bookmark in North America. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, if there's any bookshops out there that would like to cross-post this next week, um, just drop us a line or give us cross-posting rights and then we'll add you to the cross-posting stream. But um, I'm sure that wherever you have found this, thank you for coming and uh, joining us for our lockdown book show um, right so this song is a challenge uh, for everybody um, it's a song in using the first lines of books um, and your challenge for uh, next week or at the end of this thread is can you spot the books um, that these first lines come from. No Googling allowed. Um, <laughs> and um, should we give a prize? Should we offer a prize? Oh, it's going to be tricky. Well, we're going to see the live feed come through. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll read out uh, who, type them in as soon as you hear them. Okay. Uh, so there's about 15 books in this. Something like Something that. Something like that. Okay. Average audience score three. It's quite a wide audience, a global audience. Yeah, I'm here, expecting so. at least four from you we guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, two, two, three.
them come in here (laughs) okay okay let's see how many you guys got did pretty well i think Uh, how do we how do we go up i don't know if it will let me go up okay let's go for taylor two cities the crow Crow road Road. fahrenheit 451 yeah metamorphosis go between um i saw um tale of two cities Exhausting, Exhausting. Someone put. <laughs> uh, so that's six, and I'm sure I can't scroll up to the top, unfortunately, but um, six is already like double the thing. We'll have a little look uh, when we finish this. Um, but thank you so much for, for coming in. Um, it's Catch 22. Catch 22, seven. <laughs> um, uh, it's been great. Yeah, it's been yeah. so lovely. It always feels like it goes by really fast, but we'll be here same time next Friday. Yeah, definitely yeah. for the next three weeks at least. Um, and, and as long as Molly's in bed, that's the other thing. Yeah, we should call this the Will Molly Wake Up show. <laughs> yeah, which is the loudest song we can play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, just to remind you, a uh, uh, good top tip for Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock, British summertime, is uh, go to the Wigtown Book Festival for Wigtown Wednesdays. They'll be putting something on each evening. Um, I'm sure that'd be really interesting. Um, and the tip jar, do give us the tip jar and we'll pass on a, a fair whack of that to help musicians and the book trade charity. Um, hashtags, save indie bookstores and choose bookshops. Just spread your love, uh, send your love. Everyone needs everyone needs their love and to know people are listening and caring and watching. So do that. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, anything else you need to say? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the album. Oh yeah, do you, uh, we're going to, Got a pre-order running for this on the Bandcamp. There's a link in the thing uh, if you'd like to um, get your hands on a brand new bookshop band vinyl, um, gold embossed. Ooh. 
That might be it. Might be it. That might be it. Well, safe to say, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to Mr. B's, Daunt Books, Q Bookshop, Sheen Bookshop, The Bookshop, Wigtown Book Festival, The Open Book, Books in My Bag, Booksellers Association, Blue House Bookshop, Books on the Hill, Word Bookshop, Tattered Cover and Bookmark. Um, And hopefully more bookshops will join us each each, uh, each week. Um, But it's been great been very lovely and lovely to see your comments um, yeah feels like you're here with us because it's so weird playing to a camera <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you we'll see you see you next week yeah should we should we have a look at the comments yeah uh, we could we can have a look on our phone and leave the thing running and we can um <laughs> is that weird it might be a bit boring for people yeah it might be a bit boring Show's over, show's over, have fun, have a nice evening, Friday night.